fundamental rights as guaranteed under Article 4, 1 and 2A, Article 8, Article 9, Article 10, a due process, Article 14, Article 25 of the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. If it does not, its effect and consequences. Two, whether the conviction leading to execution of Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto could be termed as a decision of the Supreme Court, binding on all other courts being based upon or enunciating the principle of law in terms of Article 189 of the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. If not, its effect and consequences. Three, whether in the peculiar circumstances of this case, awarding and maintaining the, of the death sentence was justified or it could amount to deliberate murder keeping in view the glaring bias against Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Four, whether the decision in the case of murder trial against Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto fulfills the requirements of Islamic laws as codified in the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet if so, whether present case is covered by a doctrine of repentance specifically mentioned in the following surahs of Holy Quran, Surah, surah Nasa, verses 17 and 18, Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 159, 160, and 222, Surah Al-Maidah, verse 39, Surah Al-Araf, verse 153, Surah Al-Nihal, uh, verse 119, and Surah Ta, uh, verse 82, as well as Sunnah Ibn Majah, chapter 71, Hadith number 395. What are the effect, what are effects and consequences? Consequences of doctrine, uh, repentance. Five. What does this mean? By repentance, I uh, I don't know if it is in relation to uh, uh, Mr. Farooq. Please enlighten us. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if it is in relation to the statements uh, made by a former judge. By repentance, maybe. Do you have any idea? Be very honest, no. But what if he so if you don't know repentance from the from the complainant side? That's what from the court he, to the mind. We asked Mr. Azarabani is here. <laughs> Do you know? I would not be assist you on that. Okay. Uh, Kasuri sir, why the word repentance has been mentioned in this order? Why the repentance in question number four or whatever? What are the effects and consequences of doctrine of repentance? Why was this mentioned? That was a very hard of hearing. Doctrine of repentance. Toba. Toba karmi. Why don't you say that? Toba. Toba ka taskara. Wo dikha de na inko zara. Nea pad li je. Toba bhi kare. Ye likha na. What are the effects and consequences of the doctrine of repentance? Maybe it was framed, the complaint was framed. Since he was there, he is the best person to tell us. Do you know why? Do you know why this was written? Whether on the basis of conclusions arrived at and inferences drawn from the evidence oblique material in the case an order for conviction and sentence against Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto could have been recorded. So these are the five questions and then paragraph number two. So one second, let us clarify one thing. Is this the presidential reference before us to answer these questions? My Lord. It is. Yes. You, that's your position. That's, yes, that's what they think. Do you disagree yes. with that? No, no, not at all. This is the position, my Lord. Two. In view of the importance of the presidential reference, senior advocates, jurists, Messrs. Ali Ahmed Kurd, Tariq Mahmood, Abdul Hafiz Pirzada, Fakhruddin Ji Ibrahim, Khalid Anwar, Maktoum Ali Khan, SM Zafar, Etazaz Essen, Zahurul Haq, and Abdul Latif Afridi are hereby appointed as a Mikey Kurai. Ms. Asma Jahangir, President, Supreme Court Bar Association, the Learned Attorney General for Pakistan, and the Learned Advocates General of all the provinces shall also appear and assist the court. Three. Just, just one minute. 
So now some of them have passed away. Yes, my lord. Mr. Abdul Kafiz Pizada has passed away. Mr. Abdul Kafiz Pizada has passed, passed, passed away. At least seven of my sons suffer. Mr. The lawyers from GKP, they have passed away. Two lawyers. SM Zafar, yes, he's passed away. Mr. Latif Afridi and Mr. Zahurul Haq have also passed away. And Ms. Asma Jangir. And Ms. Asma Jangir. My lord, we are left with, let's see, Mr. Tariq Lamour has been excused. Is Mr. Ali Ahmad Kut present? Will you be assisting? Will you be assisting? Take singing, take singing. Just one minute. Will you be assisting, Kurta Sahib? Yes, will you be assisting or not? Yes, we can't compel in the micers. Sir, would you be assisting the Honourable Court? Yes, sir, if as a... As but, 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 no, because, okay. that's enough. Yes. Is Mr. Tariq Mahmood present? No, no, I think he's, he's not well, he's excused himself. No, and uh, during the course of proceedings... Hey, 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 on the objection, no, no, what, let's Mr. Just, he had excused. Mr. Khalid Anwar, is he at, in present? He has excused himself. He is? He, is he excused the, himself. There's an order of the court on this okay. issue. Okay, and Mr. Mahdoum Ali Khan? I, he's never excused himself. He's not here today. Not here. Okay, one second. So, and then Mr. Okay, now Ethisaz we are left with uh, who all? My Lord, I am Mr. Ethisaz Hassan. Where is he? Present on behalf of Mr. Mukhtum Ali Khan. I am present here on behalf of Mr. Mukhtum Ali Khan. He wasn't sure if your Lordship uh, will be issuing fresh notices to the Amicus because, as as noted by your Lordship, many of them have passed away. But if you see about Karina, just tell us about Mr. Mukhtum Ali Khan. Don't My Lord, if speech. your Lordship so desire, he will be present. It's not a, our desire. He has been appointed. Amicus no. try to understand the matter. My Lord, we My cannot. Not compel an amicus. Will he act he as amicus or not? He will be present, my lord. He will act as amicus, yes, my lord. Okay, fine. Mr. Etizaz Hassan. Uh, yes. Basically, he was a in this case. Before. Please answer the question. Don't make a speech. Uh, yes, no. He was appointed as a lawyer in this case later on in 2012. If you see yes, no. Uh, no, sir, because Mr. Farooq Ashtag has instructed him not to appear in the court after. Yes, no. No, sir. No, sorry, no, not as a Michael's, but no, he was lawyer in the last. If you see, if you see the last order, we, we have you asked you a long speech. Try to be brief. <laughs> he doesn't want to come. Okay, fine. Now we're left with only two Michael's. Then yes, one is Mr. Maktoum Ali Khan, one is Mr. Ali Ahmad Kurd. And Tariq Mahmoud Sahib is not well, you said. So we may also consider appointment of substitute Michael's, and we'll take on suggestions on board. Just bear that in mind. Please continue reading. Uh, continue reading. Meanwhile, let the original re record of the trial of the Ali Bhutto's case be requisitioned from the Lahore High Court, enabling the learned counsel for the referring authority to obtain copies of the same if need be. For preparation of arguments, copies thereof shall also be supplied by him to all the above learned advocates. The office is directed to put up a note for constituting a larger bench. Then the larger bench was constituted. My Lord. Any a, significant a, order that we need to read? My Lord, uh, there I was like to, uh, one order. One order I would like to. Oh, we'll come to you, Mr. Yes. Farooq. Now you relax. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> My Lord, uh, there is this one order uh -huh. which related to, uh, this is 3-5-2011. 3 5 2011. 3-5, not 2-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5. 3-5